John here guys and today we are talking about motor sizes. Motor sizes, motor KV and what those numbers mean. So, a lot of people in videos, especially if they're starting out, hear all these numbers being thrown out. 2205, 2405, 2207, 3600, 2550 KV. What do those numbers mean? Well, it's very simple and I'm going to kind of break those numbers down, what they mean and what how you can calculate the RPM that this motor is going to achieve based on those numbers right there. Now, the reason it's kind of tricky is because all those numbers come at you at once, but once you break it down, it's quite simple. A lot of people will automatically know um, if you're talking about a 5-liter V8 engine in your car versus, uh, you know, like in a Mustang 5.0 versus a Civic that has a 1.8-liter four cylinder you automatically are going to know some things one is going to have more torque one is going to have more power one is going to be more efficient so what do these numbers mean for us as we are trying to figure out the best motor for the application on if you're flying freestyle racing if you're flying a micro like this or a full-size quad and now let's dive in this is a first of a beginner series of videos i'm going to be doing to explain some of the fundamental things about fpv quad copters and things like that now today we're talking about motor sizes what the size numbers mean and what that kv number means that is beside it so first let's i've kind of made this little diagram here so we can talk about motor sizes now let's go and take apart a motor so that we can go over the components of that motor so let's bring this in a little bit closer oh god i really hate this camera so this is a motor stator and you can see that a stator is made up of these um, metal laminations these posts right here and it has copper wire winded around it and those wires come out uh, for these three wires that connect to our electronic speed controllers now these are three phase motors now here is the motor bell your prop goes on top right here and what do we have on here we have curved magnets so when those fit together um, when electricity is applied to these coils right here it can cause kind of an electromagnet effect with these magnets which makes the motor spin so what does that mean so this is a representation of a stator just like this and then this uh, diagram over here on the right is one from the side view. So let's talk about 2207 very quickly. This is a 2207 motor. This is the Brother Hobby R3 2550 kV motor. So let's break down what those sizes mean. Now we are also going to compare that to another 2207 motor. This is a 2207 F60 Pro 2 and it is 1750 kV. Now what do those two kV differences mean? Well, they are sort of an ingredient that you use in order to, to determine what the RPM of that motor is going to be. So first of all, let's talk about the sizes. 2207, that is actually a two digit size representation of the motor so all you do is you split it in half so the diameter of the motor is the first two numbers so that is this measurement right here so in this case it is 22 millimeters okay and now the second number is the stator height so in this case it is 0 07 millimeters so 2207 is 22 millimeter diameter stator with a seven millimeter height. Now both of these motors are 2207, but they have very different KVs. Well, that's because this motor is meant to run on a four cell or four S battery. The other motor is meant to run on a six cell battery. Now, if you take the KV of the motor multiplied by the volts that are going to be output by that battery, you get a calculation of the RPM of that motor. So let's figure out what the difference in RPMs is going to be 
if you're using a six cell battery versus a four cell battery. Now, for four cells and six cells, we are gonna be calculating that max battery um, calculation at 4.2 volts per cell. So 4.2 times four cells equals 16.8 volts for a 4S battery. Now for a 6S battery, we're going to be doing 4.2 times 6 cells. Now 4.2 times 6 is 25.2. So let's figure out what the RPM differences is going to be. Now both of these would be running a 5 inch prop. So whenever you hear a quadcopter referred to as a 5 inch or a 3 inch it's referring to the prop size that the motor is going to be spinning. So these are going to be running, spinning five inch props. So let's take the first one, which is the four cell 2550 KV times the 16.8 volts. And we're going to get 42,840 RPM. Now let's do the same calculation for the six cell, which is gonna be 25.2 times 1750 kV. That is 44,100 RPM. So even though one of these is running a four cell battery and one of these is running on a six cell battery, the RPMs are actually very close to each other. So the benefits that people are saying that a six cell has versus a four cell is that the load is distributed over a greater number of cells so that the amper spikes that you're seeing are gonna be lower under six cells, which should result in potentially longer flight times depending on how hard you're mashing that throttle. So let's do that same calculation on my favorite motor, which is the 2405, 25, 22 KV. Let's just do that for grins. So I have another one of these worksheets that I've kind of created. And let's see a 2405, 25, 22, KV. So that means that the diameter is 24 millimeters. The height is 5 millimeters. And we can do that same calculation. Now, this is a 4S motor that you would run on a 4 cell battery. So you would be doing 16.8 volts times 25, 22. KV and that is going to be 42,369 RPM. So those are actually very close in overall RPM. Now the differences in the motor feel is going to be that um, it's going to involve little other differences. So how close is the stator to the actual magnets? You know, what kind of air gap is going to be there that a smaller air gap is going to be more power essentially. Um, what kind of a bearing is it using? Is it using a, a thicker bearing, a, a smaller bearing that's going to have an impact on durability of the motor. And how good are the magnets? Are they super high quality? Are the magnets themselves curved um, around the bell so that you get that tighter air gap and you have a stronger magnet effect because they're curved? Those are all going to have impacts on the motor and how it, it spins. Now let's just do the same uh, calculation for a 3 inch motor. And we're going to use the Brother Hobby Avenger 1507 motors that are 3600 kV. So let's do the calculation for that. So for this one, it is a 1507 motor at 3600 kV. So 
we have a 15 millimeter diameter stator right here with a seven millimeter stator height. So we're gonna take that, um, now this is a three, no actually this is still a four cell battery. So it's gonna also be 16.8 times um, the 3600 kV and see what that's gonna be. That's gonna be 60,480 RPM. Now, why is this RPM so much higher than the larger motor? The larger motor, um, 2405, was only going 42,000 RPMs. Why is this one 60,000? Well, if we think about it, the larger motor is spinning a much bigger prop. This prop can generate much more lift because it has a much larger size um, for it to generate lift. These are much smaller props, so in order to generate the lift needed, even though the overall craft is lighter, you need to spin them faster. So if you look at motor sizes, they're always gonna be running um, faster and faster the smaller you get. So this is actually um, a two and a half inch massive droner, and it is running 1106 um, size motors. And they are running at uh, 8,000 kV. So let's do that one. Now this one would run on a 3S battery. So 8,000 kV. And 4.2 volts times three. So we're gonna be multiplying by 12.6 because this is only gonna be running a 3S battery times 8,000 is 100. 1,800 RPM. So that's the speed that these tiny motors, so basically the smaller the motor, the fast, the smaller the prop, the faster it has to spin in order to generate the lift needed for it to perform. Um, now these smaller motors are gonna have less torque, but when the craft is so much lighter, you don't need as much. So anyway, that hopefully kind of lets you know how to compare these things you could also use the calculation for volume if you really wanted to compare stator volume so if you wanted to compare the volume of a 2207 to a 2405 you would find out that the 2207 has a, a little bit more volume and you would use just the standard pi r squared times height now that really doesn't um, matter that much for this discussion but if you really wanted to kind of figure that out that's how you would do it so hopefully this is helpful guys let me know in the comments if you like this type of video i can make more in the future all right thanks guys